So folks, it is one o'clock, so we will go ahead and get started. I assume we'll have a few more folks join up with us here, but, uh, but welcome, welcome to uh, uh, environmental geoscience, right? Geo 106. Um, anyway, my name is John. I will be your lovely instructor here for the, uh, for the course. Um, anyway, uh, first of all, we actually have two separate course sections joining us today. Um, one is the full 15 week semester long course. The other one is a condensed seven week course. It's the same course, just the timelines are shrunk in the seven week course. So if you're in the seven week course or the 14 week course, the points and everything that we'll be talking about, everything goes along. But uh, um, uh, just remember if you're in the seven week course, check your schedule because there's a much compressed timeline there, right? Does anyone have any questions for me at the start here? Otherwise I'll do my little intro spiel and then we'll look at the website and all that good stuff. All right, well, if I may, I will share my screen here. Sure. Hopefully everybody can see my screen. Go. And this is us here, environmental geoscience, geo 106. Right. Here I am, your fearless leader, John Van Regen Mortar. You may call me John, Professor V, uh, whatever you're comfortable with. Uh, this is a picture of me out in Utah this summer finding fossils. A little bit about me. Got my uh, bachelor's at a little place called Grand Valley State University. Maybe you've heard of it. Uh, and then uh, a small collection of master's degrees from around the country here in geology, GIS, which is the stuff that runs Google Earth, Google Maps, uh, and biological anthropology. So a bit about me. I've been into geology for a very long time. This is actually a picture of my son when he was one years old, collecting his first dinosaur bones. It was a triceratops. Uh, okay, so I cheated. I knew where one was. Took him and I put him there, and he eventually picked him up. Right. I do love all the wonders of geology, and here's me hanging out with some dinosaur bones, the Dinosaur National Monument this summer. Uh, and I've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this since basically I was 15 years old. And here's a picture of me back in high school. As you can see, we've all had bad ideas in the past. Just don't. Right. <laughs> what do I do? Thanks. Well. Technically, it's high resolution spatial temporal correlations. Do we have a question? question? No, okay. All right. Anyway, you don't really need to know what that is, but basically, I work with fossil localities, but I do the geology around fossil localities. I take each of these pins here is a different place where we found fossils, and all these different colored lines are me walking up and down, up and down, up and down, doing mapping. And then taking these and putting them in a logical order here so we can then do high level evolutionary uh, studies on uh, changes as things change, especially climate. Uh, in particular, I am into mammal fossils. And I know that in the movies, fossil hunting is always glorified, but here's what it really is crawling around in your hands and knees in the desert. Um, I do love all fossils, but I'm into mammals in particular. This is a fossil primate from here in the United States, about 55 million years old. It's known as Smilodectes. Uh, I do love all fossils, but anything with sabers are especially cool to me. Uh, I've also done some local research here in the gypsum mines underneath Grand Rapids uh, on fossil fish poop. Yes, fossil fish poop, very exciting stuff, right? Anyway, other stuff I'm into, archaeology, human and primate evolution, GIS, data dissemination, learning how to share uh, large packages of information across the world, uh, minerals. I have a huge mineral collection. I love minerals. And then I love looking at mass extinctions and how they affect evolution. And generally, after you have a mass extinction, you generally get a mass evolution or what they call a radiation that happens, uh, animals exploiting now vacant niches. Right? Um, but enough about me, let's go ahead and take a look at the class schedule. For 
weekday for our materials every week. Uh, everything for the week will be due Sunday nights at 11.59 p.m. All right. Office hours, uh, we can do them via Zoom by appointment. We can do them over the phone by appointment, however you want to do those. Just shoot me an email and we can set up a time. All right. There is no specific required textbook for this class. Any introduction to geology textbook will work uh, in the syllabus, and I'll show you that in a few minutes. There are a couple links to some free online options. If you prefer a print version, uh, I would say just go online, um, Amazon or whatever, and find a super cheap uh, intro to geology or uh, environmental geology textbook, and that should work just fine for you. Right? Here's how we break down the class. Participation and homework. This will include weekly items, uh, quizzes, uh, and discussion participation. 390 points total for the semester. Two midterm exams. There'll be 280 points each. Uh, those will be launched via Blackboard. Um, and again, I'll launch them on like a Wednesday. They'll be due Sunday evening. Uh, the thing is, once you start them, you have two hours to complete them. Uh, no breaks, no stops. So you got to set aside a nice block of time to do these exams. Final exam, 180 points, first 240. So final exam, not much more than the uh, midterms. So mostly new material, but thanks some big concept questions uh, from the previous exams as well. Uh, and then we have an environmental geology project. And this people usually uh, find very fun. Um, and you get to design your own project on an environmental geology topic. And we'll talk about that a little bit more uh, in just a few minutes here. So for a total of a thousand points out of the class, right? So what are the goals for this class? First of all, expand your interest and knowledge in our planet, the world around us, the processes that shape it. Right? Develop an understanding of the scientific process and apply it to life. And I think this is in every syllabus everywhere, but we'll do it, I guess. Develop critical thinking and analytical skills. Sure, why not? Right? But it is also my job to teach upcoming geology majors. There may be a few folks in this class, I'm not sure, who are already geology majors or may be thinking about geology as a major. Hopefully this course will help you decide, right? Also my job to recruit new geology majors. So if you feel like I'm trying to convince you to become a geology major, I probably am, right? Um, so that's kind of my just general introduction. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take a look with us at the uh, um, course webpage or Blackboard page, but does anybody have any questions at this point? Okay. If not, I shall share the screen again. And we will take a look at our Blackboard page. So here is our Blackboard page. When you come into it, it opens you up to announcements. Um, everything you need for the week will be under weekly assignments. So here you see from your page, you'll see already uh, orientation and week one available. Uh, these both need to be completed by the end of the week by Sunday evening. So orientation, not a whole lot there. Watch the orientation to Blackboard video. This probably covers that as well. Uh, review the syllabus and schedule, and then take the syllabus and schedule quiz, just a little five point quiz. Right? But let's look at our weekly assignments. This is week one, and this is for the 14 week course. Uh, if you're in the seven week course, the load is basically doubled. So we'll do what we do in week one and week two for the 15 week course. But this is how each kind of block is set up. So you have read the material in whatever book you choose, watch the introduction videos, and click on there and I'll show you. We have two introduction videos for the 14 week or 15 week course. There's quite a few more for the seven week course this week. 
But uh, each of these videos is required. It does have quizzes embedded. They're not worth a lot. Each one's worth like two points, but over the semester that adds up. So be sure to watch these, right? Um, so videos are required. Back to weekly assignments. After that, discuss week one materials. Each week you will have to discuss materials. So here we have our discussions like for week one. This is just general questions you may have. You can post there. You can post to my geology in your lifetime thread. How is geology integrated into your life? Yada, yada. Uh, or you can post your own thread. That is uh, required each week. And you must participate two separate days each week. So two posts a week minimum, but on separate days. And this will keep you involved and engaged uh, with the discussion that's going on, right? From there, there may or may not be another little homework assignment. Uh, and then each week or each chapter, each section will have a little five point quiz to take as well. Right? You'll take that quiz and then you'll be done with the material. Just for kicks, let's take a look at what the folks in the seven week course have for week one assignments. Orientation is the same. Week one, we have two sections. So introduction, this will look very familiar. This again is just what we went over. Read the introductory chapter, watch the videos, discuss the introductory material, take the quiz. But if we go back, we have another section yet, minerals. And here we have read about minerals, watch the videos, discuss minerals. That's the same weekly thread as the first one. We'll just have one forum per week with you know a bunch of threads under there. You can post to any of those. Uh, favorite mineral assignment and then a quiz on minerals. Yeah. All right, also along the side here, you will find direct access to several other items, direct access to the discussion uh, board, direct access to the video lectures, the syllabus and schedule. Here I have linked a couple free online textbooks for you. Uh, feel free to use any of these or whatever one you find, all right? I have lecture slides for all of my lectures posted. Feel free to use those. Um, and then, uh, Bunch on the uh, environmental geology project. We'll go over that in just a, a few minutes here. Uh, link to our video class and office hours if you should need to come visit me in office hours. Again, just set up a time with me and you can click right on that link and it'll take you there. Right. And then importantly, exam reviews. Exam reviews are already posted for the whole semester. Uh, so take a look at these, take a look at them early, take a look at them often. So for exam one, we have a five page review. It's pretty comprehensive, but again, if it is not on this uh, exam or if not on this review, uh, it's not covered on the exam, right? So make sure to take a look at those. It's a pretty handy cheat sheet for you there, right? But let's go ahead and dive in and take a look at our syllabus. Whoops, not that one, let's do this one here. So here's our syllabus, right? All the good information, course outcomes. Here again, links to different online textbooks for you, right? Uh, attendance policy, grading policy, uh, environmental geology project. There's three parts to this environmental geology project. Uh, so your job for the geology project You don't see them in your blackboard. Let me um, double check here and see if those are in, whoops. Oh, I guess I did not. Here, let me link those right now. Actually, I'll do that after we're done here. So I will post those up. Um, Mm -hmm. 
I'll make a folder and post those after we're done here. Sorry about that. Okay, so um, I'll take a look at those. Oh, yes, they are in the syllabus. I will make a direct link for them as well. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, so our environmental geology project, where was I with that here? <laughs> Okay, so here it is. This is kind of a fun project. People generally like this. Uh, as a well-informed, socially active resident of planet Earth, you are interested in informing the general public about environmental geology. Your mission, create a project to educate the public on a particular topic related to environmental geology. The media, the format, the design, the implication of this, uh, implementation of this are all up to you. You could do an art project, a video, interpretive dance, PowerPoint, infographics, website, uh, pamphlet, right? As long as it's scholarly and informative. You may work alone, you may work in groups. Uh, however, you must have your project uh, approved by me. To do that, there are several pieces. The project proposal, Right. So if you're in the seven week course, check your syllabus. The, the proposal deadline is different here. Um, uh, but that's 15 points. You're just basically going to do a short little half page page. Tell me what your project is, why you're interested in it, uh, how you plan to present it, what the media you'll be using is. Right. And then closer to the end of the class, uh, a project update, uh, short again, half one page paper describing how things are going, what you have left to do, any problems you have, that kind of thing, right? And then the project will be due um, the final Sunday of class, right? So um, again, this will all be due during Blackboard. Uh, if we were meeting in person, we'd have a big fun day where we'd all get together and check out each other's projects. But since we're online, we're not gonna do that, but still you should have a lot of fun uh, creating these projects here. Right? So let's take a look at the environmental geology projects. I've already a rubric posted here for you. Just giving you a rundown on everything, content, organization, design, that kind of good stuff, right? So take a look at this. I think I have to update the dates on there too. I'll do that as well. Um, uh, and then some topic ideas, just some things I came up with uh, off the top of my head that might be interesting to you. Sea level rise, fracking, hurricanes, sustainable resources, super volcanoes, earthquakes, oil, this kind of stuff, right? But the idea here is that uh, you make the project your own, right? If you have interests, make sure you can bring those or make, you know, try to bring those into your project. I had a student last semester who was in for, into forensic science. So she did a project on the decomposition of bodies out in the wild, out in the wilderness. Of course, that would be related to environmental geology. I've had people who are um, um, hospitality and tourism management folks who've done, uh, made up their own little Great Lakes cruise and cruised around to see different geology spots around the Great Lakes. So um, take it, run with it. If you have questions, email me, let me know. We can, I'm sure we can make most things work fairly well with environmental geology as the broad, um, the broad uh, uh, overarching concept there. All right, let me show you a few examples of some projects that have been done in the past. So here is a nice poster that somebody made on deforestation in the Amazon and soy cultivation. You can see good amount of information, some nice pictures, everything's laid out well. She put her um, sources on the back, which is just fine if it doesn't clog up the paper, right? But again, this is a science class, I'll need to see your sources, right? Uh, but they don't have to necessarily be in your presentation uh as a whole you can just set them as a uh, separate depending on how how that works for you right? um some other let's see here. 
There it is here. Here's one somebody did on volcanoes. Nice presentation, beautiful pictures, good information. Right. You get the idea, right? Good little presentation. The the big thing here is uh, design this when you when you're designing this. Think of it as something that's going to be standalone. In other words, you don't have to be there to present it. It can present itself, right? A poster, um, a PowerPoint where you just have to press forward, you know, a video that can play automatically, um, something like that. Um, think of it as something that would be in a tourist shop, a museum, a gift store, something like that, um, that people could just walk up to and use, right? Now I've gotten, a wide variety of quality projects. Uh, here's one that didn't quite make the cut. For an entire semester, this is what somebody turned into me. Could do this in about 20 minutes, right? No good there, right? But the other ones I've shown you, those are A projects, right? Uh, let's see here. And then I've had some really over the top projects, if I can share a couple of those with you. And most of them happen to be songs or videos. Uh, see if I can play this one for you here. This was done a couple of years ago by some folks at GRCC for this class. It's the water cycle. It's the water cycle. It's the water cycle. Make it kind of fancy. It's the hydrologic cycle. It's the water cycle. It's the water cycle. It's the water cycle. Make it kind of fancy. It's the hydrologic cycle. First things first. Water vapor heats up and turns to too much heat separation. Water vapor rises. That's a good condensation. This from the clouds which starts to form to pay water paper is not too much with the process of precipitation is what is called what happens next when it falls next thing next water hits the surface the soil in the ground are ready to absorb it transpiration is the name photosynthesis the game one of them moves on to the next hall of fame last things last is called infiltration water we'll sits down and the ground will take it water table dries now we can drink it So that was pretty good, right? <laughs> they definitely use their skills there. Um, for uh, for you, it doesn't have to be that over the top to get an A, obviously. But if you would like to go that crazy, absolutely do, right? Here is another one, the best one I've ever received. Hopefully we can get it to work here. Uh, we're going to have to pause it here for a second to let the thing catch up here. All right. Maybe I won't be able to play it. Anyway, let's uh, let me stop my share for the moment here. Uh, let that load up. Does anybody have any questions on? Uh, the environmental geology project, the core specifics. I have a question about the project itself. Um, yeah. I'm in yeah. the, uh, the longer course, mm -hmm. the 15 week course, and I'm yeah. just wondering if it's possible for us to do that project in advance. Um, 
meaning I know that like you don't have due dates out for quite a bit for our class, but mm -hmm. is it possible for us to go ahead and just get everything wrapped up? I mean, if you want to, yeah, absolutely. Quickly. Okay. You know, I mean, to it on your timeline. So, you know, I mean, sure. by that time, um, the thing is I might not open up the submission pages for a while. Um, oh. So you could always email them to me and I can take a look, check them out and, you know. Okay. Stuff, so. And then I also just wanted to ask about the topic, like how um, stringent you were about the topic. I already had a topic in mind and I didn't want to, uh, no, nope, it's a nope. kind of a narrow minded topic, but it has to do with that. So as long as you can make it related to environmental geology, and if you're questioning that, email me and maybe we can try to figure out a way we can make it related to environmental geology. Yeah, lots, uh, lots of stuff is environmental geology. I've had folks who are um, art majors do projects on how natural materials are used in art and makeups and clothing, that kind of stuff. Um, so okay. do quite it's a, just, um, it's just about the tribal water crisis, oh, yeah. also Native nope. American water crisis. No, yeah, that's absolutely, Fine. that's okay. absolutely related. Okay. Yeah. This yeah. Yeah. Sure. All right. <laughs> we don't, we don't even question. have to spin that one. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Thank you. Any other questions? Do you know if we need to download lockdown browser for the exams or quizzes? I'm sorry. Oh, lockdown browser. No, I hate the lockdown browser. Okay, so it's not required for this class? Pardon? Or is it required? The, the uh, lockdown browser is not required for this class. The exams are open note, open book, uh, whatever resource you want to use except for me. Um, but the deal is once you begin the exam, you have two hours to complete it. Okay, thank you. Does that, does that clear everything up? Um, yeah, are the, oops, sorry, are the exams like all multiple choice or will there be like short answers? There, well? will, there will not be short answer. There might be type in the answer, like a number answer or something. Uh, but mostly there will be um, uh, multiple choice, choose all that apply, click on target, which is where I choose a picture. And I tell you, click on the thing that I'm asking about. Um, uh, also, uh, uh, order, like, and matching, um, basically, uh, lots of stuff. I don't know if you've done Blackboard quizzes or exams before, um, but I kind of make use of a lot of those different ones. Uh, examples will be in our weekly quizzes or our chapter quizzes. Those will have examples of all these different types of formats. And uh, actually, hence, pay attention to those uh, weekly questions, because many of them you may see again in the exam. So you should have plenty of time to practice all the different types before we get to the exam. One other question about the project, if you don't mind. Um, I noticed on the rubric it said six sources. Are you restrictive on what sources we're using? I know you said no Wikipedia, but we don't uh, have no to Wikipedia, but you know what? Wikipedia is often not a bad place to start because there's sources sure. at the bottom. Right. Sure. Yeah. No, Wikipedia does not count. I mean, um, but yeah. like media coverage, would that be accepted or does it media have to be all acceptable? Um, valid websites, you know, official websites like USGS or, you know, an organization HHS. website okay. or something, you know, just okay. be, you know, uh, intelligent about it. Yeah. Be intelligent about picking it out. Right. I mean, don't pick out the wackadoodle guys yeah. like, the earth is still flat, you know. Kind of yeah. Thing. Got yeah. it. No, okay, legitimate sources, you know, scientific papers are a good source. Um, may or may not be for some, right? But I mean, you can find much of the same information online. But we don't have to use all academic journals. It doesn't have to come from one source. Okay. No, no, no. As a okay, matter of fact, yeah, yeah, exactly. So, Thanks. Yeah, use a variety of sources. That'll help set you up. Other questions, or I'll check in on our video because this is my favorite video. And once again, you know, there'll be a whole variety, a whole range of of A projects that you'll see as long as you're meeting the requirements in those uh, in the um, um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for rubric. You should be good, all right? And then take time and craft it. You know, I can tell when somebody threw it together and 
in half a day. It's pretty obvious, <laughs> you know. Right. Take time, uh, make it look neat, make it look interesting, you know, make spend time on the layout and choose good pictures and videos and all that. Other questions, if not, I'll play this video again. Would a project relating to plants be accepted, such as how soil affects the overall growth or something like that? Yeah, yeah, we got a whole chapter on soils, so that would work just fine, you know? Or even how plants are and, and uh, nutrition of plants are changing with climate change or something like that. You, know? no. you don't have to pick a topic today. Um, it's a couple of weeks out, at least for the uh, even the the seven week folks who uh, um, so there's a little bit of time to get your feet wet in the class and figure out what kind of things we're talking about. And then. All right. All right. If not. Let's see here. Close that. Let's go share screen. Make sure. Okay. All right. I think we're almost there. Let's play it anyway. I hate a side events. Telling me he make you wait. I see the rain clouds. It's pouring. Police are keeping it traffic in place. I ain't not alone. You'll be a fool if you stay. Please big enough to go sweep you away. The storm that I'm talking about is hurricanes. 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 Two trillion gallons of rain per day. Moving speeds to 15 feet high. So waves, no tidal waves, but tides for days. Hurricanes, hurricanes. Two trillion gallons of rain per day. I hope that you'll be safe in every way. When you see a hurricane, stay away. Only that my messages won't hurt. Hmm. All right. You uh, don't have to do anything nearly that crazy to get an A, but, you know, like I said, if you feel up to it, uh, go for it, right? <laughs> Let's see what we got in the chat here. So that was great. If someone whose parents decided we should stay home when Hurricane Andrew hit, yeah. So play this as evacuations for the future storms. I know, right? Actually, I thought of that. And the video he played in the background there was from tornado trackers or tornado hunters or something like that. We actually contacted them, got their permission to use it. Now it's up on Grand Valley's website. Um, they actually may have it too. I don't know. We said that they could put it on their site too. But yeah, exactly. I mean, even if it takes changes one person's mind, right? So that would be that would be good. And then from Victor, we have for the online textbook links. Is there a preferred one we should use? 
no, anyone that you want. Uh, for the discussion boards, uh, we have to come up with answers to your questions, then come up with our own questions to ask the class for creating our own thread. No, that's those are all options. So you can respond to my question directly. You can ask a general question about materials that week. You can respond to another student's post. Uh, you can create your own thread. All of those are valid options uh, that will count towards your one of two days participation that week. So all of those are just fine. Um, what won't count is a post that's like, I like rocks. You know, that, I mean, it's got to be a little insightful, right? Any other questions here? Well, if not, folks, thank you for joining me. This is the only day we'll be live and in person. Um, hit me up with any questions you have. Um, and then uh, I hope to see you in the discussion forum. Uh, I won't. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. I don't respond to every single post in the discussion forum. I just kind of respond as needed. It's mainly a, a thing between you and the other students. Generally, they're going to be very open-ended questions for you to kind of express ideas and put opinions, you know, thoughts, that kind of stuff. So um, there's no really right or wrong answer to these. Um, anything else? Thank you for the yeah. only information. Yeah, absolutely, folks. Keep me, use me as a, a resource. Don't be shy, hit me up whenever you need. Um, and uh, I've got a lot of classes going on. Yeah, no worries. Yep, and uh, I got a lot of classes going on this semester, so um, which is why I'm putting uh, office hours as um, by appointment. So, yeah. Anyway, we'll see you all in the discussion section. Enjoy the first couple of weeks of class here. Let me know if there's anything I can do for you. Yep, glad it answered a bunch of questions for you. Thank you, folks. Have a great day.